relationship God is in a, all about an awakening um, as a sportsman you have got the ability to play you've got wonderful talents and skills you don't get any more of it you just learn what those skills and talents can do yeah. it's the same as your relationship with God once you've uh, given your life to him you are complete there's nothing else that's required it's just an awakening of what he exactly uh, the prize and the gift that he has yeah. given you really. as you go through your life um, God's timing is pretty perfect, um, so you never try and rush it. And when I was finished my career, after having all that success, I thought, okay, now it's time to move on. I read a book by Bob Buford saying, moving from success to significance. And I thought, okay, that's it, me, God, I'm ready to go into the significance part. I was looking to change the world. I thought everything was going to happen. But once again, God's timing and God's plan isn't quite the same as that. Through the awakening, I realized that you can make a difference in the world, and don't get me wrong, there are people doing wonderful things that uh, influence the world and, and change. But uh, God's also interested in things like your relationship with Him, your relationship with your family, and your relationship with people you meet. Yeah. So sometimes that is more significant than anything else that God can have you do. And uh, that was a season that I've gone through, and it's been a wonderful growing period to be able to set some foundations for my family and uh, for the years to come. Mistakes that I've made along the line, and I'm sure some of you can relate to it. Treated God like a magic genie, extra prayers, every extra Bible verses before going out to play. Hoping that uh, He blessed me a little bit more than the others. I've treated the Bible as a buffet. You know, there's certain verses that maybe you don't want to apply to your life, and unfortunately, it's not. It's not a buffet. You can't just pick and choose what you want to. Um, I've been one of those people who's treated God's opinion as just another one, rather than the only one that you should be listening to. In a, in a world where you're a sportsman and you're thrown in front of the crowds all the time, you become audience focused. Nothing wrong with being audience focused, but make sure that audience is just the one, the audience of God. Uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Your relationship with Him depends totally on where you are with Him. He doesn't change. So whatever effort you put into will be with your relationship. And then the last point is having an opinion um, when you don't have a responsibility in the area. Be very careful about doing that. What does God want from you? Well, I can't sum it up very much better than I had listened to a CD from Casting Crowns. I'm already one minute over. I'm coming in for a landing. Um, it says, what, what does God want from you? Um, it's all about your heart. He'll meet you where you are. It's not about religion. It's not about stained glass, fantasies, special prayers, new behaviors, um, earning God's forgiveness. It's all about your heart. Yeah. All He wants is that you know Him and that you make Him known to the rest of the world. Oh, it's very simple. Thank you. Well done.